So with only a minor bit of difficulty, I got this clip together. It just pushed together and I couldn't do it reaching through the window like this. So I'm gonna bring this whole mirror assembly closer to this. Come down. You're gonna right line there. up, I line up the top peg because that's the only one that's got to line up by itself. And then the bottom two pegs will sort of fall into place. Make sure you don't pinch your lighting connector too badly between two pieces of sheet metal and see how that's sort of sat in there right there. That black push pin is still not fully attached down there. So I'm gonna take this and that's gonna be held and I'm gonna put on one screw or one um, nut just to hold it so I can get everything else on there. As you tighten it up, that weather stripping pin is actually gonna lock in place. Yes, that weather stripping pin gets pulled back to the inside, like into the frame of the mirror through the force of the bolts being tightened, nuts being tightened. Top. So those two. Push the top in. Yeah, it needs to come in quite a bit. Because I got no, got no threads that are sticking. So I'm not going to send them all the way down first thing. I'm going to tighten them until they're snug and then move around to keep them from being sort of wonky. See how that one's set in like that? So that was where that top pin set. Make sure your weather stripping is good and right where it needs to be. With that set up like that, we're gonna test it before we put anything back together. So on the right, pushing to the right, pushing to the left, pushing up, pushing down. And then these mirrors are also turn signal mirrors as well. So we're going to test the turn signals. But with all of that tested, we can put it all back together. Another tip and trick. This is falling and it sort of pulls this weather stripping off 
I'm gonna make sure you stick that back on so it keeps the wind noise out of your truck as much as possible. And put everything back, we just do it in the reverse order. So hang your door. It hangs right there on the lip of the sheet metal. And so with it hung, everything should Need to push it in so everything should put it right into place. There it is. So you can go around. Make sure all your pegs are lined up. that all the pegs are lined up this still has a little bit of play in it because it's not screwed in in these two spots so we're going to take this big screw and put it right back in here in this cup holder I'm only gonna tighten that just a little bit of the way to make sure I can get these other two fasteners lined up. I got that one in. I'm put this one. snug down then I'm going to take this one so with these you pull them out so that it can push in line it up put it in the slot push it forward and it'll click and lock this is the piece that came out from back here all you do is pull back it should line up pretty easy and click right in That just falls in if you figure out the right way to put it and then this piece this lines up through here this one goes over here this one goes in through the top there you go and my name is miles and this was two and a half trucks